There's many different types of lemurs. They're all found on the island of Madagascar, and they may have not even all been discovered yet. They estimate there's about 100 species. Ring-tailed lemurs live in the drier forest in Madagascar, not really like a rainforest. Lemurs here at the zoo eat a diet of vegetables, fruits, and a lemur biscuit that's prepared specially for lemurs. In the wild, they eat pretty much whatever they can find, flowers, fruits, other vegetables, but they're, they're mainly fruit eaters in the wild. They're related to a very large family of um, animals called prosimians, and that includes lemurs and all the different lemur species, but it also includes um, other creatures like tarsiers, podo, a lot of things that people probably never heard of. Um, they're all considered, prosimian actually means pre-monkey, so it's actually a term that means they kind of evolved before monkeys do, and monkeys kind of bypassed them evolutionarily, so they kind of stayed a little bit more primitive than monkeys are. Lemurs are related to primates, but they're prosimians, so they are a little bit different. They're not quite as evolved as monkeys, but they're very closely related. Uh, they do have opposable thumbs. They don't have as strong a grip as primates do, but they can oppose that thumb to grasp things. And also, like I said, on the evolutionary chart, they, they did form around the same time as monkeys, but monkeys branched off and kind of got more specialized, where lemurs kind of stayed in a more primitive state. Monkeys are very visual and they you know, see things and their world is kind of interpreted through their eyes, whereas lemurs use scent a lot. They use it to mark their territory, they actually even use it to fight with each other. Uh, male lemurs use their long tail, they rub um, their tails on a gland they have in their shoulders and they actually wave it at other males and they have something called stink fights. And that's kind of a peaceful way to um, dispute territories or females. Some primates have uh, prehensile tails. Not all primates do, but some, some primates can actually use their tail almost like a fifth limb and grasp things with it. The ring-tailed lemur, although they do have an oppressive tail, they cannot use it to grasp things with. It's kind of just there for show a little bit. They do use it in displays, but they do not use it to locomote, to move around. Uh, obviously, that's their most distinctive marking that sets them apart from the other lemurs is the rings on their tail. They're born with between, every time we've counted, there's been about 14 to 16 rings on their tail. Um, so most of them, they don't have like a different number of rings per individual. They're all about 14 to 16. And they're born with that ring tail. It's just very tiny and it grows as they grow older, but rings are not added. They're born with exactly what it looks like, just a smaller version of it. One thing that I find very interesting about ring-tailed lemurs is that they are a female-dominated society. The chicks rule as far as lemurs go, as far as ring-tailed lemurs go. The males are kind of secondary, they're very subordinate to the females. The females run the roost, they decide where to go, and will often kick males out if they're sick of having them around. But they totally run the show. They are the dominant force in a group of lemurs. They are endangered. Um, all the lemurs on Madagascar are endangered because they are from only that island of Madagascar. And like many other areas of the world, it's being deforested um, for people to make villages and that kind of thing. So it's mostly, it doesn't really have so much to do with hunting. It's mostly habitat loss that are threatening these guys.